Yesterday, the United States House of Representatives passed a bill decriminalizing marijuana federally. And although it's unlikely to pass the Senate, it has industry leaders here in California excited that the conversation of decriminalization is rolling in Washington. The yeas are 228, the nays are 164. After receiving some rare bipartisan support from House Republicans, the Marijuana Opportunity Reinvestment and Expungement Act, or MORE, passed the House of Representatives by a large margin. Highlights of the bill include decriminalize marijuana federally, establish a 5% federal tax on all cannabis products, prohibit the denial of federal benefits to people convicted of cannabis-related crimes, and would start the process of expunging the records of those convicted of cannabis-related offenses. It was a historic win for the industry. Will Sen is the founder of Urban Leaf, a marijuana dispensary in San Diego. He says that the bill has been a long time coming and attitudes towards marijuana are shifting around the country. I think the writing is on the wall, right? Everybody is voting for uh, cannabis legislation nationwide. You had five more states um, pass some legislation in the last election here. Uh, there's a, a number of upcoming bills um, in the near future here. Marijuana has been decriminalized in California since 1996, but attitudes about the plant differ drastically around the country. According to the FBI and the Pew Research Center, in 2018, 40% of the 1.65 million drug arrests from around the country were marijuana related. So, I mean, there's thousands at the very minimum, especially on the federal level, but as we start to extend the impact statewide, it could be upwards of millions of records that would get affected. Jason Ortiz from the Minority Cannabis Business Association says the potential expungement of cannabis-related crimes off a person's record could change the lives of thousands of people. And having that on your record denies you access to housing, to jobs, to other sorts of social services. And we want to make sure that all the folks that maybe made a mistake in the past are able to move forward with their lives and get jobs and houses and be productive members of society. Although the bill passed the House, it's unlikely that it will see a vote in the Republican-led Senate floor. Still, business owners like Sen see it as an important benchmark of just how far the conversation around decriminalizing marijuana has come since he entered the industry. I feel like it was a huge win. Honestly, it's amazing. It's uh, the most historic day in the cannabis industry uh, since I've been in it. We're all keeping an eye on Georgia and the Senate race. Tim Blodgett, News 8.